All right, yo, I'm gonna try to see one more time. I'm review, G-Unit. The beauty of independence, the EP they put out. I'm gonna take it a little bit serious now. Six joints, of course, you know, typical sub specs. Buck, Banks, 50, Yayo, Kid Kid. To me, the weakest link is always gonna be Kid Kid. Sometimes he can deliver, sometimes he can't. I just don't like how he flow, how his voice sound. Yayo don't have the strongest goddamn vocals either, and his bars sometimes seem mediocre. So that leaves 50 bucks and Banks. And far as the lyrical ability, Banks is lyrical than all of them. 50 and Buck got the aggression, but far as some street shit, I'm gonna give it towards Buck, but 50 got the experience. So other than that, all right, here we go. The first track, Watch Me. The beat was hard. I enjoyed the hook, you know what I'm saying? Um, the lyrics was hard. I like how they sequence through it. Everybody spit their verse, you know what I mean? But Yayo verse was whack, I'm sorry. But other than that, that song was cool. I don't fuck with you. I thought the beat and everything was straight. The hook was cool, you know what I mean? They can put together better hooks, but the production on this shit was not really all that. You know, I think the independent shit cool, but I don't think that they putting forth the effort to actually spend money on great producers. They go with the whole independent shit, giving new producers a chance, but that takes away from the lyrics and the aggression of the song. Everything else was good. Yayo was whack on that song as well. Digital scale, I thought that beat was semi-cool, but the sample was the best thing popping. I'm a sucker for a sample. Y'all already know that. Their lyrics was cool, you know, as far as verses. I'm gonna say that Yayo was cool. I ain't like Kid Kid. Everybody else was straight. You know, it was a good song. Uh, they had a pussy nigga number four. I wasn't feeling it. Changes, that's one of the dopest songs on here. Like, 50 really got introspective on this song to the point where it's like he broke down a lot of shit, and I respect that. But I think he should have kept this song solo because when it comes to experiences, he got more than everybody else in G Unit. I mean, okay, Buck got some. Banks really don't got none, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. It was a real concept, so I think I fuck with that record a lot. That's the better one on this EP. Everything about it was great. I had no problem with that record. And the last track, The Plug, I mean, of course, typical street shit, 50 Cent. Need guns, need drugs, on the plug. I mean, that's really nothing new. That, to me, it sounds like a throwaway track that one of these niggas had or it was sitting in the fucking, you know, safe somewhere because I don't believe that they organically came in the studio and decided, hey, let's do some songs together. Nah, I don't think that. I think this was shit 50 was working on that probably didn't make his last album or ain't gonna make the new one. And so he just took verses out and added little pieces here and there and we have an EP. Because if you put it out independently, you damn near could have put out a whole fucking project. So at the end of the day, I mean, it was cool. I fuck with that record, you know what I mean, for what it was. I give this shit a six and a half out of 10. I like five out of six records. Production, six out of 10. But if this anything to look forward to for G Unit, I'm not excited. It'll never be like their first album, Beg for Mercy. TOS was fucking garbage. Sorry, that was on the verge where I think who was left out the fucking group? I think Buck or not Buck, Game or somebody was at the point leaving the group. So I I don't know. But at the end of the day, I think it's it's been too much time that they haven't been a group. Because if you look at them individually for what they were. 50 Cent was the bread one the other group. He ain't even popping like he used to. Banks was cool, you know, he had like a little lyrical ability. You had a nigga in the background. That song is getting annoying now. Buck had a good role, but then he got locked up. You know, the whole jail shit fucked him over. The whole him and 50 going back kind of took away from certain things. And Yayo just always been Yayo. He put out an album and went gold, but he really never had a fan base. He had a nice mixtape circuit for a minute, but other than that, nobody really gave a fuck about him. Uh, Kid Kid, like I said, he still haven't released that mixtape yet. And how hard is it to put out a mixtape? You got Soldier Boy and Lil B dropping shit like this. Steady. You know, out of a month, they done dropped four projects. So I look at it as a work ethic thing. As a collective, I think this is a mistake. The reunion.